Okay, so set your timers. We've got six exercises, 50 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. I want to see three times through. If you can't do three times, you know what I'm after. As many as you can. So go as hard as you can, do the best you can, um, and let's just go for it, shall we? I'm using my sandbag today because I've got some weight involved. Use your Ugi balls if you've got them, or use your weights off your T bar. So they're your options. Get your weights involved. Are we ready? Set my timer. It's that easy. Go. So, left leg, right arm. Let's get on the floor. Now, if you've got a bench, you can do this on a bench. It'll make this a lot harder. So, come up, take it back down. So, head is in line with the spine. Lift up. Marry the opposite leg and the opposite hand together. Try to keep your legs straight. Come on, push. Pull your abs in, breathe. Really go hard, push it as hard as you can. Really reach for your toes. Try to reach the toes. If you can, reach the outside of the toes sometimes. Reach the inside of the toes sometimes. Try not to keep it linear. Try to move around. Ah, try to move every single muscle you can. Change sides. Oh, that's a killer. If you move either side of your, your foot, it changes everything. Just that slight move will change everything about this exercise. Believe me. Ah, Move it around, up to the side, go down. <sighs> Try not to reach to your toe, bring your foot into the centre and then reach up. Oh gosh, this hurts. Go down. Can you hear the mat? I don't think that's the mat. <laughs> it is the mat. <laughs> it is oh, the mat. I know. It is. Nobody trumps that many, Darren. <laughs> oh. It's the mat because it's like... <sighs> 40 degrees here today. Uh, oh. Sweaty trumps. Push out. Uh, serious face. Uh, see how serious my face goes when it starts to hurt. Get in your C sit position. So we're doing a C sit and a chest press. Oh, my abs are burning. So sit back up. Hold it. Don't try to sit all the way up. Try not to put your feet on the floor. Oh God, that abs are killing me. Sit back. Get them legs up. Fifteen seconds, you got this, come on, push. Try and keep as flat a back as you can. Uh, try and keep your back flat. Uh, seven seconds, come on, you got this. Put your feet on the floor if you need to. Three, two, last one. Oh. Okay, six seconds. I want you to put your hands just under your lower pelvis. So it takes the arch out of your back. Lift your shoulders off the mat. Lift your feet off the mat. I want to see some flutter kicks. Nice big kicks. Don't arch the back. Okay, now what I want you to do is do a little breath. Lift those shoulders a little bit higher. Now, because you've isolated on your seat just then, your abs will be absolutely killing. Hold, hold, hold. Take your legs left and right, left and right. Shoulders stay off the floor, pull it in, don't arch your back, keep those feet low. <sighs> Come on, push. <sighs> Ready? Hold it. Let's do it again. Oh, you were saved to the next round. Okay, ready? A frame abs. So sit yourself in a position. We're going to make an A so you come down, come up. <sighs> Go down, come up, go down, come up. I've got 15 pounds in my bag, so it's heavy. Keep your
your body forward. Don't worry about rushing this. Worry about your back flat. Yeah, abs getting involved. And try and keep your feet off the floor. 18 seconds. You've got this. Come on, push. It's not hard. It's not easy for me. It's not easy for you, so push. Come on. No, you got this. Don't let your body sit upright. Stay back. Are ready? Last one. Reverse crunch. With a difference, I lie back down. Lower abs this time. So engage. You're going to come up. Once you come up, you twist slightly to the side. You're going down. Then you do one in the centre. Then you twist it up again. So again, we're not becoming linear. We're coming all the way up. Take it down. Come up. Now I'm taking my shoulders off the mat to make this a little bit harder. Go down. Twist. Go down. Lower abs. Keep your head high, come on, push up to the ceiling, straight up. <laughs> the mat is making really inappropriate noises, and I really wish it would stop. <sighs> Are you sweating like me? I'm really sorry, I don't mean to do it, it's not me. But to keep my form, I can't change it. <sighs> It's so difficult because you're holding the muscles so tightly. You've worked everywhere there. You've done obliques, you've done your lower abs at the end. You've done absolutely every single muscle in your abdominals. The main thing I want you to do is when you do the first one, I want you to really concentrate on changing it up. Try not to keep the movements linear. Try to move them. Even if you're coming up in an abdominal, just move slightly to the side. It changes everything. It changes how your whole dynamic of that, that routine works just by moving a little bit. When you do your reverse crunches at the end, twist your feet when you get to the top. Move a little bit differently. Move your body in different ways. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to learn to just Get outside that box. Get outside that box of trying to do everything a certain way. We want to move it. We want to go forward and we want to change it up. And that's what I need you to do. I need you to try new things all the time. Make your body have to work harder. Don't let it know what it's, what's coming. Make it work differently. Okay? That's where you're going to see changes. That's where you're going to see results. But that comes with a clean diet as well. So... If you need any diet advice, any diet tips or anything like that, just hit the blogs, hit the website. There's loads of information on there. So that's where you need to be headed. If you want um, tips on, you know, clean eating, anything like that, just post your questions and we'll try and get back to you as quickly as possible. So it's six rounds, three times through. You're going to burn so much. Like one round was tough. Three rounds, you're going to really feel that you've worked your abdominals. So if you put that into the end of a workout, enjoy that. If this is your workout for the day, go hard and go heavy especially when you're using your sandbag try to get some weight involved have a good one see you next time bye